Hello, healthy friends. Kaylin McBee here with Healthy Living with Kaylin McBee and McBee Well. Some of you may notice that I'm a little tanner than the last video that I did for our Three Minute Thursday, and that's because last week we were actually in Mexico enjoying some sunshine and some downtime. Again, life is full of balance. One of the things that I did want to talk about was my experience when I was there. So first things first, Mexican sun and really sun anywhere is very strong. <laughs> And so I was really happy that I had a couple of different options to take down with me. The first one is the sunscreen that I used. So this one comes from the company that I work with and it is called, uh, it's a mineral sunscreen. It does give a 30 SPF. It is a broad spectrum with UVA and UVB protection. It does also contain some other ingredients like cuckoo nut oil and the extract from the lipstick tree seeds, which both help to form an additional protection for our skin. Um, something like this is uh, $11.69, so really affordable. People think when you find healthy options that they're always astronomically expensive, and it's really not the case. So as diligent as I was with putting on sunscreen, there was inevitably a couple of spots that I missed. I really was so on top of put, you know, uh, applying and reapplying, but every once in a while you just miss some spots. And so unfortunately that meant that I also needed a little bit of relief for my skin because I did get a little sun kissed. So what I used was our after skin or rather our after sun uh, gel. So what I, what I did with this was, even though this contains a ton of great ingredients, it's got aloe vera, it has glycerin, it's got vitamin E, it has algae extract and green tea and grape leaf extract, which are all antioxidants, which help with that damage. What I additionally did was add some essential oils because these are that much more beneficial for the skin. So the first one that I added was our Melaleuca tea tree oil. That is our T36C4, which I think next week I'm gonna talk about what those numbers mean. But really good antiseptically, also great for um, cuts and scrapes and burns. And so I knew that with my little bit of skin damage, this would be great. And then the other that I used was our lavender. Again, to calm the skin, to make sure that it was healing in the best way possible, stop any of the itching that was coming up. Make sure that you're using essential oils from a very reputable distributor because what you buy in Target or in CVS is garbage. So I'm happy to help in any way that I can. This is Kaylin McBee with Healthy Living with Kaylin McBee and McBee Well. Hope you're having a great day, everybody. Take care.